Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, being back with another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about um, blood manipulation for Kaizen. And, you know, some somebody asked me. It was a video idea, so I'm going to make it right now. I told y'all, whatever y'all comment down below <clears throat> will most likely be made. So, because, you know, there's things I'm obviously going to miss, things that I'm not thinking about. And if we work as a team, we can cover a lot of things that the game need, videos that the game needs. So, you know, let's go ahead and get straight into it. I don't know if I'm in a public server or oh, there we go, private server. Game load. All right, we're on the way to get blood manipulation. So we're gonna go based off of like how blood manipulation works, and like you know you could base it off of that, and then you choose your stats. So like with <clears throat> with curse manipulation, like you know since you have a lot of moves that do like you know multiple hits, it's, it's already great for like combo extenders. Um, oh, these these shrines. I don't know if y'all knew, but these shrines are actually pretty good for you know getting from point A to point B. It's really it's really good. Ah, oh, damn! I, I just remembered. I never got it. Okay. I thought I I thought I I bought it. All right, but from what I've seen though. For blood manipulation is you you get like this move where you like summon like this big lump of blood and then it does damage over time so like the best weapon I would say like I said again like these two weapons are like bro basically legendary for like any I'm talking about any build is the curse daggers and the death um, harbinger which is like really really good they're, they're, they're both really good for combo extenders you know, especially like the move, this move right here on the Death Harbinger. Look at this. I'm gonna show you all in a few seconds. And the stats that I would run, I currently have like a semi of what I would run. Like, all right, so you'd put 300. You'd have obviously always. You always want 500 into defense because you want to be able to take a hit. Um, and you want like majority on your, your primary, which would be a curse. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's your curse technique. And you're really using your weapon as your combo extender. So I'd say just go 300 into to weapon because the the one weapon that requires the most stats is the Curse Dagger, which is 300. So as soon as you have it at 300, you're able to use literally every weapon in the game. So you should be good with 300. And then after that, you can put majority of your stats, whatever you have left. So after I put 500 here, I could put, you would basically have like 800 Curse. 800 into Curse. 300 into weapon, 500 into defense. And that's a pretty well distributed um, stats. Or if you want, you can go, you know, full curse technique user, but you know, you're not gonna really have the combo extenders like you're supposed to. Like, let me show you. You got this move right here is a slam down. And then I gotta find like a stronger NPC. One that won't die in one hit. It's like, I'm gonna show y'all what I mean by like, the sword, like it has a move, like, the hell strike bro literally bro it's, it stuns you and then you can still m1 somebody so it's really good i'm telling you and i know a lot of people has already used blah 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 i know a lot of people have already used this blade they probably already know that it does this but like bro some people don't y'all be surprised yo oh this requires stamina but yeah look boom and then as that's happening, you know what I'm saying? Like, it gives you a nice low stun time. Then you could combo extend with it. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah. Um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to catch you on the next um, one. Um, my my Discord link's down below. We're on the road to 5,000 subscribers. And I also got content creator for Grand Kaizen, a new Bleach game that's coming out, and a new SAO game that's coming out. So, you, you'll be seeing videos on those, you know, if y'all was wondering about games that are like, you feel me? The Bleach game, I'll, which will soon be in testing. Um, so, y'all see a little bit of content on that. If is if they allow me to post, I'll post some content on that. Show y'all what's you know, going on in the game. Combat and everything looks fire. If y'all want to see what I'm talking about, y'all can go and then y'all can go check it out. It says new Bleach game coming in 2024. So, I'm going to go ahead and check that out. But yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.